Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Theorems in GeoGebra. In this tutorial, we will state and prove Pythagoras Theorem and Midpoint Theorem using GeoGebra. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, GeoGebra version 5.0.438.0-D. To follow this tutorial, Learners should be familiar with GeoGebra interface. For the prerequisite GeoGebra tutorials, please visit this website. Let us state the Pythagoras theorem. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. I have already opened the GeoGebra interface. We will begin with the drawing of a semicircle. Click on the semicircle through two points tool. Then click to mark two points in the graphics view. Using the point tool, we will mark another point C on the semicircle C. Now let us draw a triangle ABC using the points on the semicircle. Click on the polygon tool and draw the triangle ABC. Here we are using semicircle to draw the triangle. This is because we need the measure of one of the angle to be 90 degrees. Let us measure the angles of the triangle. Click on the angle tool and click inside the triangle. Here angle ACB is 90 degrees. Now we will hide the semicircle C. In the algebra view, under conic, click on the blue dot against C. We will draw three squares using the sides of the triangle. For that, click on the regular polygon tool and then click on the points CB. The regular polygon text box opens with a default value 4. Click on OK button at the bottom. If you click on the points BC, the square is drawn in the opposite direction. Let us undo the process by clicking on the undo button. Now click on the points AC and then click the OK button in the text box that appears. Similarly, click on the points BA and then click the OK button in the text box that appears. Now we have three squares that represent Pythagorean triplets. Now we will use zoom out tool to see the diagram clearly. Now we will find the areas of these squares. Click on the area tool and click on poly1, poly2 and poly3 respectively. The areas of the respective squares are displayed. Using the move tool, drag the labels to see them clearly. Now we will check if area of poly1 plus area of poly2 is equal to area of poly3. In the input bar type poly1 plus poly2 and press enter. In the algebra view a number d shows the value of area of poly3. Hence the Pythagoras theorem has been proved. Now I will explain the construction protocol for Pythagoras theorem. Construction protocol shows the step-by-step -step construction of the diagram as an animation. To view the animation, click on View menu and select Construction Protocol checkbox. Construction Protocol view opens next to Graphics view. I will drag the boundary of Graphics view to see the Construction Protocol view. This view has a table with some columns. Below the table, we have the animation controls. Now click on the play button. Watch the step-by-step -step construction of the figure as an animation. Now we will prove the midpoint theorem. The line joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half of it. 
I have opened a new GeoGebra window. Let us draw a triangle ABC using Polygon tool. Now we will find the midpoints of sites AB and AC. Click on the midpoint or center tool. Then click on the sites AB and AC. Using the line tool, draw a line through points D and E. Now we will draw a line parallel to segment AB. For this, click on the parallel line tool and click on segment AB. Then click on point C. Line G parallel to segment AB is drawn. Notice that lines F and G intersect at a point. Using the intersect tool, let us mark the point of intersection as F. Now we need to measure angles F, C, E and D, A, E. Click on the angle tool and click on the points F, C, E and D, A, E. Notice that the angles are equal since they are alternate interior angles. Similarly, we will measure C, B, D and E, D, A. The angles are equal. This implies that line F is parallel to segment BC. Using the distance or length tool, click on the points DE and BC. Notice that DE is half of BC. Hence the midpoint theorem is proved. Once again I will show the construction protocol for the theorem. Click on view menu and select construction protocol checkbox. Construction protocol view opens next to graphics view. Now click on the play button. Watch the step by step construction of the figure. As an assignment, through this theorem. Your completed assignment should look like this. Let us summarize what we have learnt. In this tutorial, we have stated and proved Pythagoras theorem and midpoint theorem using GeoGebra. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.